Well, I uh, got married when I was 16. And I, uh, the guy that I got married to was a lot older. He was uh, 69. But my mother, she had her suitcases packed and everything. And then she left for California, her and the kids. I says, Mom, where are you going? She says, you and Seal married, you're on your own. I'm leaving. He was an alcoholic. If he didn't get his beer or cigarettes, he'd be start beating on me. And I couldn't go no place. I had to stay in the house. And my poor kids seen it. When my kids was taken from me, I ended up in the hospital with a nervous breakdown. I was in there for three months. Then that's when they transferred me to the nursing home. Mainly, I was, just went in there for the nervous breakdown. But they found, uh, found out that I, I was born, I had seizures. But according to them, they put me in there on kind of my seizures. And they kept me ever since. She was young. She was about 39 years old. And she, um, I guess initially, was in the hospital for having a nervous breakdown. And she had seizures. She, and she went into the nursing facility, the nursing home. And um, they told her that she was never going to be able to come out and live on her own. And so she was there for 23 years. And because my social worker down at the nursing home asked me one day, because I was sitting in the, community, in the room watching TV and doing my crossword books, and she, she asked me if I ever thought about being on my own. And I said, no, but I'll give anything a try. And she says, well, I've got a lady in mind I'll give her a phone call. Then the next day, Kathy came out and talked to me. We have many individuals that from, the, from babies till elderly that are in nursing facilities. And if they've been there for over 90 days and they're a Medicaid you know, um, recipient, they are eligible for the program, the Home Choice Program, which is through the Department of Medicaid. And we, it started because people generally don't have enough money when they're in the nursing home. Their money's being turned over to the nursing home. So they are not even able to get out and, and have an apartment or do their security deposit or turn on their lights or buy furniture or even groceries. So that's what we do. We set them completely up with their first month's rent, their security, to, you know, lights groceries, house, every household item, because a lot of times they don't have anything, and we set it up completely for them, so that when they come out, they, they kind of walk into their new apartment and they just, they feel great. And then they have to take it from there with their own, usually their social security. Because people kept telling me that I couldn't make it on my own, and I proved a lot of people wrong. I told them, I said, if I can get out by myself where it's quiet, and just have people leave me alone and have, have me be my own boss and prove to people that I can do it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm my own boss. She had gotten a list of um, apartments and from, from the nursing home, I guess the social worker had given her a list and she started calling them and she found one and she went out there and she was all ready to go. Well, in that nursing home, I couldn't, couldn't do what I wanted to do. I, I couldn't stand the noise, because that's all that noise I couldn't be to myself, because that's what was making me all have them seizures. And everywhere I go, I had to have supervision. And I thank God, now that I'm on my own, I've had no seizures at all. And my doctor says, I am doing great. Well, we furnish it, first of all, you know, bedroom, you know, bathroom, kitchen, living room, make sure she has all of her furniture. We buy all the household items. And since I've been by myself, I couldn't be any better. My nerves have calmed down. I don't feel anxious. I don't have no trouble at all. 
her willingness to just do whatever she needed to be happy, you know, was incredible. I get up, make my coffee, get in there, take my shower, and then uh, I'll go in there and sit down for a while and just relax. Her spirit, she's such a happy person. I was just telling her today that, that other people need to see that, you know, because she has so much joy and such a happy person that it, it's infectious when she's around others. So I've got my own bank started. My, I've got Social Security started in my own name. I, I've showed people how, how I could take care of my own business.